Okay, so this is the end product and I'm going to show you how you can get here too. So we'll begin with our dimensions. In this case, I'm using a square 500 by 500. Uh, you would enter whatever dimensions you desire or whatever was given to you. So we have our square here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna find my center. So I'll drop a vertical center. And from here, the next step would be to label some important points. Now I've sped up this part of the video just because it's boring, but the baseline is gonna be AB. We're gonna call C the center. And at the top, you're gonna have it labeled as zero. And you'll see why in a very short while. Right, so this is basically what we want to have to work with as a baseline. So once we're here, we want to divide the space, each space or each half, we want to divide it into five. All right, now I went 500 across, so half of it is 250. Uh, 250 divided by five would be 50. So I'm just going to offset the center line by increments of 50 and you can see that I have five spaces here and once I have this done I'm just gonna copy them and well mirror them and do it on the other side also all right whether you're doing it using some sort of CAD software or you're doing it physically it doesn't matter but these are the steps that you need to, to get done all right so this is me mirroring it and good we have all of these in place now i've gone ahead and i've numbered these right off camera just for the sake of time everyone could understand this and i've also gone ahead and divided the base sorry the vertical line into five equal parts all right so we numbered the parts up top and we have divided the vertical line into five equal parts. Again, I did it off camera with the interest of time. So what we're gonna do now is for each of these points along the vertical line, we're just gonna connect it to zero as I'm doing right now. All right, just zooming in to make sure that my connection points are accurate and that there are no errors and trust me it's very easy to make errors when you are zoomed out of a drawing it's very very easy so here we have it so these are our vertical lines well these lines are diagonal but along the vertical, we divided it into five equal parts, just as we did for each horizontal half. And at this point, we are pretty much about 80% through. I'm just gonna mirror the lines again, because I need these diagonal lines on both sides. And um, this is gonna enable us to connect our points. So I've gone ahead and numbered the points off camera and this is what is going to happen we have vertical lines like this is vertical five vertical four vertical three vertical two vertical one and then you have diagonal five diagonal four diagonal three diagonal two diagonal one so the points are basically where the vertical line for number five intercepts the diagonal number five, which is this point here. And then where vertical four intercepts with diagonal four, vertical three, vertical two, vertical one, etc. So where the diagonal and the vertical intersect each other, that's the point for your parabola. I'm using the spline command 
and um, it's the same command that we use for the ellipse and all these other types of stuff and there you have it this is the parabola I'm just gonna remove the layers well the construction layer so that you can see what it looks like without all the construction lines and I'm gonna put them back and that's it that's how you do the parabola using the circumscribed rectangle method if you have learned anything if this video is beneficial for you please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already